Asuka, the energetic and strong mother. Yamato, the younger brother who's always in his own little world. Follow us as we karate kick all your daily frustrations away. Asuka's revenge. My name is Asuka. Around the time I had just gotten married to Ryota. Oh my gosh, I can't eat something this salty. Oh no. Why do you always throw away my food? I was pretty troubled on how to deal with my mother-in-law. Why? Because if I keep eating this kind of food, I'm going to get sick. What a waste of a meal, huh? We've been spending so much on food after you moved in. But you haven't even tried it, and I'm paying for the food. She never seemed to like me after living together. She kept nagging at me like this. Her nagging continued beyond just cooking, into cleaning and laundry. Ask Hassan. The tatami is so dirty. What are you doing? Oh my gosh, I just cleaned it. My mother-in-law would intentionally carry dirt from the yard into places that I just cleaned to make it dirty again. My clothes are dirty, again. Same with the laundry. She's always following me around, ruining my work. How bored are you? My father-in-law just quietly sat and watched everything happen. No matter how much she nagged at me or dirtied my rooms, he just sat there. I'm sure she wears the pants around here. He never had any right to say anything. He was just ordered around. Come on, move! Another thing that I felt like... That is seriously dirty. Towards her was that she wasn't like that at all when my husband was around. In front of him, she would often act super kind. Ryota! Welcome home. Asuka-san, come on. Get the bath ready for your lovely husband. Ryota's an adult. He can get his own bath ready. Talking to Ryota, I thought that he would totally take my side in a heartbeat. But... Okay, fine. Let's do it your way then. I had to get competitive and ended up fighting her head on. I am not going to just give up. Then, Kotomi, who was in college at the time, came home for a break. I'm going to be here for about two weeks. During this time, Kotomi met her friends and was often not home. Her mom still continued to nag at me. Ah! My laundry! It's always just my laundry. By this time, I had reached my limit and I was starting to argue with my mother-in-law. Why are you always being so annoying to me? And me only? And only when Ryota isn't around. That's so dirty. What? But she didn't back down. I'm trying to help you by teaching you because you don't know how to be a good wife. How dare you go against his mother? You throw away my food before you even eat it. I can tell what kind of taste it is just by looking at your cooking. We were arguing for a while, but eventually we were just emotional. So I started crying. I'm... I'm... I'm not going to cry. <laughs> she started teasing me because she saw me trying not to cry. Oh, wow. Look at this loser crying. <laughs> what are you? Some kind of child? I talked back, but I thought I lost, so I couldn't even say anything. <sighs> I completely lose this time. Then I heard a voice behind me. Hey, you should cut it out, Mom. Kotomi was there. She said she was going out with friends, but there she was. Oh, what? Uh, how long have you been there? My mother-in-law seemed to be panicking. I saw everything, Mom. But you're... you were supposed to be with your friends. Oh, I didn't have any plans. I thought things were weird around here, so I pretended to leave. She answered so matter-of-factly. Huh? N no, what, what are you talking about? She was clearly at a loss for words, but Kotomi started talking to her. You know, even if you think you're helping her out, she might actually take it as a personal attack, huh? 
If you really care about her at all, then you should start understanding that it's something that bothers her and apologize about it. Katomi! Katomi's critique left my mother-in-law blushing before she responded. Uh, hey, that's because she doesn't realize that she's family now. I don't want to say it either. I'm saying it for her own good. Don't you even get started. I was so close to saying something, but Kodomi didn't give me any time. Then you don't remember that Ryota got married. I'm pretty sure even your own son would be annoyed if you told him how to live. Asuka-chan didn't come to our family to be treated like a child. She said... Then my father-in-law spoke up. Shut up. Don't talk to mom like that. I was seriously shocked when he yelled. I... I didn't know he could talk. Thinking back now... If you manage to make her any more angry, you're going to make it really tough to live. Maybe that's what he meant when he said, be quiet. Everyone fell silent, and Kodomi was the first one to open her mouth. <laughs> kodomi John was sobbing. Is, is this going to happen when I get married too? She said, glancing at her father. Enough. He mumbled, but Kodomi didn't quit. Th this is really wrong to do. She's literally crying. I, I don't think I can keep this to myself. I think it's fine for now, but if, if it keeps going and escalating, what are you going to do if she gets depressed? If I get married and this happens, you two aren't going to think anything if I go to my husband's house and I'm depressed. If this happens, I would hope that someone would help me. You're going to tell the person that's helping me to shut up? Go to me. They couldn't say anything back, and I just kept crying from what she was saying. If that happened, you guys would try to protect me, right? Because you've been working hard to make sure I was happy, right? It's the same with her parents, too. You think her parents think she's crying here because of you? It hasn't been a year since she's been married. They must think she's having a great time. If, if she said this to her parents, they might show up with bats and beat you all to a pulp. If she gets tired of it and divorces your son, you can't say anything to her. Oh, uh, okay. No one wants to fight with their significant other's parents. They want to get along with their significant other's parents. But she's crying and arguing this much when she could have just talked to her parents about it. Whose fault do you think it is that she's crying? Everyone likes her too. I've never felt shame in what we've done, but I can proudly say that I'm ashamed of both of you. I, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think that if Kodomi-chan didn't say anything, I wouldn't be where I am now. However, before Kodomi left, she spoke to her brother. You better protect her. You're doing a shit job right now. Asuka... I'm sorry I didn't notice. He just kept apologizing and listening to everything I had to say, and my mother-in-law stopped bitching to me. I think I'm stronger now, too. I can't thank her enough, and she's going to be getting married next spring. I, I hope she finds her happiness. I'm so excited for her. I'm Asuka. This is Ryota, my husband. We didn't have kids yet. I worked at a hair salon. So, what did you have in mind? This is Kodomi, Ryota's sister. She got a divorce about a year ago. She was a single mother raising two children. She lived nearby, so she came over to our house every now and then. But her ex-husband, uh, he was such a jerk. He hasn't paid you a single dime, right? Yeah. He promised me he'd pay me $500 a month for child support, but... The judge ruled in Kodomi's favor. It was a done deal, but... I don't have the money. His name was Takashi. He refused to pay her. 
He was the one that cheated on Kodami in the first place. But... I'm a freelancer. I'm poor. I can't pay for damages. And his parents were poor, too. So Kodami didn't sue him for damages. It was just too much work. You should have sued him for damages. He's screwing you. Yeah. What's done is done, but... I wish there was something I could do to help. Her parents were really upset about this, too. Anyways, I was a pretty famous hairstylist. This one time, I came in first place in a competition. A few months ago, I got this offer from this magazine. But then, at one of their meetings, I ran into Takashi, Kodomi's ex-husband. Is that him? What is he wearing? That looks really expensive. But I thought he didn't have any money to pay for child support. Ah, uh, He was a designer or something. What are the odds, huh? This is bad. Then, it was time to introduce ourselves. Takashi noticed me. He started glaring at me. What's he looking at me for? Ugh. Keep your mouth shut. He was like this throughout the entire meeting. He was such a jerk. What's his problem? But then, after the meeting... Hey, keep your mouth shut about the divorce, okay? Try anteing and I'll sue you for defamation. What? You got something to hide? Just shut up! If you mess with me, you're gonna regret it. Then he left before I could say anything. Luckily, it was a big project and I didn't have to see him that often. So that was a relief. But then, just as the project was coming to an end, there was this middle-aged lady on the team. She heard about me and Takashi from someone. Then... Hey, Asuka. You know Takashi, right? What's he like, huh? Tell me. Huh? He's been hitting on the girls here nonstop. I'm just a bit worried about him, that's all. Takashi wasn't there. But there were others there, listening to our conversation. And one of the guys there was Takashi's mentor. They were all waiting for my response. Um... He's my husband's sister's ex-husband. This was work, and I didn't want any trouble with him. So I kept my response to a bare minimum. But then, one of them asked me... He's always wearing designer clothes and stuff. Is he rich? Is he paying child support? He had two kids, right? I wanted to tell them everything, but... I didn't want any trouble. But he wasn't paying child support, so... Uh... I just let out a big sigh. I didn't say anything, but... I think they got the message. Then, the meeting was over. The project was over. Then, about a month later... Asuka, listen. One Friday evening, my sister-in-law came over to my house with her kids. What's the matter? The child support money? He paid me all of it. He even gave me an extra 20 grand. What? Then her phone rang. It was from Takashi's mother. Takashi's parents weren't very wealthy. But they were decent people. They felt really bad about the divorce. Hey. Hello. I just heard from his friends. This whole time, Takashi wasn't paying for child support. I had no idea. I'm so sorry, dear. Oh, so that's why. I'm so sorry, dear. Takashi took out a loan and paid her in full. I wasn't expecting that. Turns out, his colleagues and friends found out about what he did. Then... You should be ashamed of yourself. You're the one that cheated on her, right? What's wrong with you? 
If you got money to buy designer clothes, pay them. You're a horrible person. Shame on you. You better make this right. Otherwise, I'm done doing business with you. They tore him apart. He had no choice but to pay up. I'll pay her! I'll pay her right now! So... He headed to an ATM and paid her in full. Damn it! You met him at work, right? Did you say something to him? Uh, kind of. Well, not really. I wanted to, but... A few weeks later, I ran into one of his friends through work. He told me that he cut all ties with him anyways. I heard he paid up, but it doesn't matter. After what he did, I don't want to do business with him. I don't trust him anymore. Good call. He had to get a second job to pay for his debt now. And even though he was always wearing designer clothes and stuff, he wasn't rich at all. He was just a show-off. He was just leeching off his girlfriend. But when she found out about what he did, she left him. He lost all his friends. Everyone started avoiding him. He was screwed. He lost everything he had. And all his business partners left him as well. He was barely making ends meet now. Sucks for him, but oh well. Well, glad everything worked out. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Asuka. My name is Asuka. I live with my husband, Ryota. We also live nearby my mother-in-law's house. My husband's brother, Nashio, and his wife, along with their six-month-old son, live there as well. But this wife, technically my sister-in-law, is a little strange. My husband is the second of three siblings, and he has another sister younger than him, Koromi. For some reason, Nashia's wife looked down on Koromi. A woman who doesn't give birth is losing! Koromi being single is such a shame to the family. She would often make remarks about Koromi for being single. Koromi is a career-oriented woman, so she's really busy. She hasn't been able to find anyone yet, but... But I'm sure she will soon, considering how pretty she is. I'm sorry for my rudeness, but now Shio's wife is honestly ugly on the inside. More than the outside. Her personality definitely shows up on her face. I can't believe how obviously bitchy she is. I'm going to always try to be smiling. She's always just relaxing around the house, but complains about Kodami and I. Nashio, being a quiet man, never says anything back to her either. It was always awkward at my mother-in-law's house. Nashio's wife really can't do anything around the house. Every time their child cries, she does nothing. Nashio talks to her, but she doesn't listen. I don't know how they're going to make it. A six-month-old child is nothing but adorable. Nashio's at fault, too, for not saying anything. Nashio's wife was causing a lot of stress when we suddenly caught wind of great news. Kodomi-chan is getting married? Congratulations! Thank you, Asuka. The man was a blonde elite worker, and he looked straight out of a fairy tale. But she's so old that she should probably just give up on a child, huh? <laughs> You're just some Japanese girl. I'm sure he's just gonna dump you. <laughs> Nashia's wife kept talking trash. And the other day that we had all decided to meet her fiancé, we were all blown away by how nice he was. I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick. When I got up to go to the bathroom, Nashia's wife followed me for some reason. She was excited, so I was worried about what she would say when... That man is totally going for me. It's a little scary. I don't know what to do. He's always looking at me and only me. Weird, so I don't know. Now I'm worried. Ah. She seriously seemed like she was so concerned. What? 
eyeballs literally popped out of their sockets, and as soon as I was able to collect myself... No, 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 that's totally not happening. Seriously, never! That's scary. I corrected her as much as I could. People who aren't attractive don't know the delicate tangle of romance like I do. I don't know how to break it to you, but I'm 10,000% sure that Kodomi is way more popular than you. After returning to our seats, Kodomi-chan just kept ignoring people talking to her, and the mood was just terrible. Is she the heroine of some manga or something? A few days later, I was visiting my mother-in-law's house when I noticed that Kodomi was over as well. Apparently, Nashio's wife had asked my mother-in-law to take care of the child while she went out. Asuka-san, please listen to me. Nashio's wife just keeps asking my mom for my fiancé's contact info. What? That's terrifying! Maybe she wasn't joking about the thing she said in the bathroom at the restaurant. Huh? What did she say? She said that your fiancé kept looking at her and was totally going for her. I thought it was so outrageous that she was just joking. What is that lady thinking? She should take care of her child if she has time to make jokes like that. I do the chores all the time too. I'm so worried for my grandchild, so I can't just tell her to get out. You or Nashio are really the only ones I've seen taking care of her. I'm sure she wants to just ruin my engagement. If if I get married, she can't stay on her high horse anymore. I could see her trying. Do not tell them my contact info. I won't. <sighs> Can we not do anything about this? I can't really say anything about my son's marriage life, but... While we were talking, a cranky-looking Nashio's wife came home and... Where were you? Your child is still so young. What? You just trying to bully your son's wife? Had zero intention of listening to anything my mother-in-law had to say. And then she started bullying Kodomi as usual. Kodomi-san, you're only going to have relatives at your wedding, right? <laughs> Yes. As Kodomi answered, she picked up the sleeping child and... I'm going to pay a lot of money for your wedding, sweetie. <laughs> a woman needs to have a dream-like wedding. That's her goal in life. <laughs> you can't have some poor wedding where you only invite relatives. <laughs> it's proof you're not even loved. Kodomi-san and Asuka-san are both losers. <laughs> she kicked things off with a bang. The baby was starting to cry because she was just picked up while napping, and honestly, I felt like I needed to set things straight with this person, so... You know, Kodomi and I both did a relative-only wedding, but last I recall, when you invited your friends, you didn't have any actually show up, did you? What? You were all shut in and only working, so as a result, only your family showed up, right? You're just the second son's wife. Shut up! I was at the wedding with my fiancé at the time, but man, we were so worried for you. Shut up! If your daughter is going to have a great wedding, I would hope that she has a lot of friends that come and is a kind person so that she actually has friends that show up. I don't like female groups that are all slimy. Boys are easier to talk to. Because I'm more manly. Really, you don't have to go that far. If you just act normal, you can make friends. Uh, what? My logic is too sophisticated for you peasants. My mother-in-law and Kodomi, who were holding back their laughter, couldn't hold it back anymore and burst out laughing. Logic? <laughs> Too sophisticated. <laughs> Nashio's wife got mad and left the child to run upstairs, but then Kodomi-chan's phone rang. What? You're kidding, right? 
Apparently, Kodomi's fiance had called and said that Nashio's wife, who was out, was at her fiance's workplace. She said that if he were to break off the engagement with me, then she would be willing to get a divorce and handle him. He said no, obviously. She was serious. I'm going to call Nashio's wife. Nashio's wife came downstairs looking very unhappy. Did you go to Kodomi's fiance's work? None of your business. And I'm going to get a divorce with my husband. She apparently thought that her husband, after comparing him to Kodomi's fiance, was too bland. How rude. There must be a better person for me. So if Kodomi can score a man like that, I should be able to score someone even better. My mother-in-law and Kodomi both were at a loss for words. That night, we all gathered to talk about things, and Kodomi's fiancé also showed up. Nashio had heard about what happened from Kodomi-chan and her fiancé, so he looked pretty scary. We're done, okay? She must have thought that he was just going to fold like usual, but... Hell yeah, we're done! I'm the one that wants to dump your ass! You think you're so tough because people are holding back! You call your parents and get them down here now! <sighs> What the hell? He had enough of it. You don't do anything around the house and let mom take care of everything. You don't take care of our daughter. You sleep when I leave for work. I come home and you're playing games rolling around and now you think there's a better man? I'm done. He called our parents up immediately and they hauled their butts over. They live an hour away by car, by the way. They were both very apologetic about everything after hearing what had happened. We'll take her home. We're so sorry. About the child. I don't want it. I can't get remarried with that thing around. Her father slapped her flat across the face when she said that. We'll take her in. She's our adorable grandchild. No one was against the divorce, so everything went very smoothly. Her parents paid Nashio quite a bit of child support and compensation for damages, and the divorce was completed quickly. Afterwards, Kodomi-chan's wedding was a success, and Nashio was able to spend more time with his kid and other things while supporting his mom around the house. I'm her father. I can't show my weakness around her. Three years later, Nashio's ex-wife is 40 and lives alone with her parents. Since she needed to pay her parents back for the money they spent paying off child support and damages, she works part-time at the store during the day and at a janitorial service at night. The other day, Nashio received a letter asking to get back together, but... I'd rather stay single for the rest of my life than try and get back with that thing. He's ignoring her, apparently. My name is Asuka. I have a younger brother, Yamato, who is two years younger than me. He got married two months ago. I told her that I wanted to date her a little longer, but she said she wanted to get married as soon as possible. He said shyly. Oh my gosh, are you seriously bragging about your fiancé right now? <laughs> I think a year and a half isn't too fast. Both me and my brother, Fubuki, were laughing about this at the time. My brother and I were both single at the time, so we were all really happy about his marriage. Your brother's wife is over, so you can come over too, Asuka. I called Fubuki over too. Ooh, I'll definitely be there. I've only ever seen Yamato's wife at the wedding, so I'd love to get to know her better. I was excited heading to my parents' house. My mom was cooking, but apparently she was missing some kind of spice, so she asked Yamato to drive her to the store. It was just Yamato's wife, Nami, and I, so I wanted to talk about something, when... I have something I'd like to talk to you about. Do you have a second? She suddenly started talking to me instead. Huh? Yeah, what's up? Is it about Yamato? She looked very serious, so I was actually worried. I asked about it, and... Let me just cut to the chase. I would like you to build our house for us. Huh? Of course, in Yamato's name. I want you to pay for all of it. I was completely shocked at what she just said. I, I 
don't really understand what you're saying. We didn't get much from you as a celebration, so I want you to make up for it by paying for our house. Huh? Not much? Also, once I have a child, I will let you hold it, so I want you to help us with our fertility treatments. She'll let me hold the baby? What is this attitude? Is she talking as if I'm never going to get married? Um, sorry, I'm not sure I get it. I don't get why I have to buy you guys your house, and even if I were to do that, I wouldn't buy a house under his name. I even gave you guys $2,500. Only $2,500? Right? Um, I understand you wanting help with fertility treatments, but you realize with how you're saying things, you're making me really not want to help at all. I said something that I thought made perfect sense, but she just started bawling. You're making fun of me for needing fertility treatments? <laughs> no, 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 that's not what I said. If you don't buy a house, then you should give us this house. And where are my parents supposed to live? She just kept not making any sense before my brother and mom made it back home. Huh? Why are you crying? You're totally bullying your brother's wife, aren't you? Of course not! If anything, she's the one messing with me! It was almost as if I was actually bullying her, with her bawling like that. Both my mom and brother were shocked, but she decided to implode before I could explain myself. Yamato, listen! She's so mean! I said that she didn't give us enough for our celebration, and so I wanted a house, and then she said no, and she said she won't help with any fertility treatments, too. Huh? Why would Asuka... Nami ran to Yamato on her own, so I didn't need to say anything, but now both of them were also staring at Nami with a confused gaze. You're so rich, and you only pay 2500 That's insane! You think so too, right? Uh, I think that's more than enough. I was gonna stay over tonight, but I think I'll head home for now. Huh? Why? We should talk about all of this with them, right now. No, Nami. Who do you think Asuka is? Huh? Why would Asuka have to pay for our house? Because she's an investor and she's super rich, so she should do that for her siblings. Should do that? Besides, the problem is that I only got 2500 for our celebration. I still don't get why you're going on about that. It's more than enough. I just want this house then. I need to cut back on our rent. What are you talking about? We're both going to work hard and take out a loan for a house, right? Nami-san, what are you thinking? This family is not your personal bank. Yeah, she's an investor, but she's not rich. Huh? What? Nami-san really looked like she was puzzled by what was being said. My mom and brother looked equally puzzled. This isn't getting through to her. Let's go home and talk about it there. Sorry, Mom. I know you cooked for us. Sorry, sis. Uh, sorry about everything. He pushed a still-crying Nami-san out the door. After they left, my older brother, Fubuki, showed up. Huh? Where's Yamato and his wife? They left. When we explained everything to my older brother, he had something surprising to say. Oh, I knew that was the kind of person she was. What do you mean, you knew? Well, three days before the wedding, I got a call from Yamato, and when I answered, Nami-san was on the line saying that since I was working at a really big firm, I should have paid more. I even brought more today. How much did you bring? $3,000. My mother was furious after hearing about this from Fabuki. She immediately called Yamato to come back to the house. Once back at the house, 
Yamato dropped this bomb on us. We talked about things at home, but we're getting a divorce. What? what? She told me she had loans, but didn't tell me, so... Oh, no. Apparently, Nami-san had quite a bit of personal loans taken out that she didn't tell Yamato about. That was one of the reasons that she wanted to marry him, quickly. The fact that our parents' home was in one of the best parts of the city, the fact that his older brother was an elite corporate worker, and his sister was an investor. This was all appealing to her, apparently. I see. That does sound appealing. Our house is on a good land, but it's pretty old, and I may be an investor, but I'm not rich. <laughs> and I work a corporate job, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to live alone for the rest of my life. So I live a very frugal life. Yeah, so that's why she wanted to cut back as much of rent as she could. I would be alright with it if the reason she took out the loans was for good reason, but... Why did she do it? Apparently, she just spent the money to chase down celebrities. She said she wouldn't quit either. Uh, according to Yamato, even while they were dating, she would often go on vacation with her friends overnight. He didn't know that these trips were to chase celebrities. Jun-kun is my life! How do you not understand that? Jun-kun? Who is that? His life is more important than Yamato, huh? Yeah, I got it. That's why we're getting divorced. Why? I wanted to have a daughter and go on a tour with her. I married you so that I can make that dream come true. You wanted a daughter to go on tour with. That's why you wanted fertility treatments. Okay, you can ask someone else for help for that. I can't help you. But we don't have to get a divorce. We can figure out how to work together. Yamato was pretty adamant in his decision to get a divorce, but Nami-san was not having any part of it. No, no, no. We explained what happened to Nami-san's parents. They had known about her celebrity obsession, but they didn't think that it was so far as to take out loans. They agreed to the divorce immediately. A month later, the divorce was settled, and since they weren't married for long, there weren't any monetary problems. No! Why are you telling me to return the loans on my own? Nami-san was screaming till the very end. Enough! Your partner and his family are not your personal wallet! Exactly! What has gotten into you? Stop embarrassing us more than you already have! Nami-san's parents were quick to shut her up. They grabbed her and took her back to their house. So it took three months before Yamato was single again. We were all still single. <laughs> my name is Ryota. I work at a small company and live with my newlywed wife, Asuka. There is a very loud employee in my company. His name is Masuda. He sits right next to me as well. I can hear his voice again. I could hear his voice from another floor, he was so loud. Ryoto-san, did you see Matsuda-san anywhere? I can hear his voice coming from upstairs, so maybe the conference room? In addition to that, he was terrible at reading between the lines. If he were to be sued, he would 100% lose. That's how often he said inappropriate things. He was always so loud as well, so you could hear him flirting inappropriately with the female employees. He's doing his extreme flirting again. Maybe it's a virtue? But unfortunately, no one can really feel like he has any bad intentions behind his statements. I mean, it is Matsuda-san. That was usually the end of it. The employees never felt anger towards him. If anything, he was a great worker, so our client CEO even liked him. 
Ah, my Shura-san, how are you? Nice loud voice today as well. Whoa there, Mr. CEO. Take me out drinking sometime, huh? Of course. The workers can always hear you asking for them, so we get our orders through there real fast. <laughs> yeah, they come by just when we're discussing what we'd like to eat. <laughs> you can't talk bad about anyone with a voice that loud. The other person is going to hear you. <laughs> He's liked by some of the vendors that come to our office as well. Ah, oh, it's a pretty quiet day today, huh? Masuda sent us out for a meeting. Ah, oh, it's a little too quiet without him, huh? I can't bring myself to dislike him either. If anything, I kind of like him. The other day, our company CEO got remarried and announced that he was going to be holding a wedding. However, there were quite a few problems, and the office was clearly not in a celebratory mood. Everyone knows that this wedding is the result of him having an affair with someone in the office. How could he think that this was a good idea? Seriously, I don't even know how to act around that. I didn't like the girl he's remarrying. She never worked and only messed with men. The girl that he was remarrying was originally one of our employees, and everyone knows what happened from start to finish. He's kind of an idiot, too. His ex-wife was pretty tough, but kind and would often bring sweets for the employees in the office. But she found out about the affair and came to the office. Most of the employees were on her side, of course. Hey, Ryota, why did you make the invitations yet? I'm making them now. I have other things to finish too. Hurry up! Ugh. He was almost making employees make the invitations and lists. Thanks to that, no one was really getting any work done for the past few days. I wish he'd stop delaying our pay. It's not really a time to focus on a wedding, huh? His fiance is probably pushing it. On top of that, maybe it was the cost of the wedding or the damages he had to pay for his ex-wife, but he was behind on payments. Asuka always gets mad at me regarding this at my house as well. What? That's insane! I know, I'm sorry. I'm considering changing jobs. And the worst part is that it didn't even end within our office. He even tried to recruit one of our employees to send an invitation to a client. If you have time to be doing crap like this, why don't you pay off your dues, huh? I'm sorry, sir. Please tell your CEO the same thing. He circled, will not be attending, practically tearing a hole in the invitation. That had happened a few times already, so everyone was pretty upset. How are we supposed to celebrate this? The day of the wedding, I was next to Masuda's son again. This is totally a regular wedding, huh? He's still loud, huh? He doesn't understand the concept of time and place. Right? <laughs> I thought it was going to be way more fancy. Just like Masuda's son said, the wedding itself was very orthodox and was going well for most of it. However, Masuda's son really goofed. Are you all enjoying your meal? We have gathered the memories of the bride and groom on a presentation, so please enjoy it while you enjoy your meal. Once the presentation started, Masuda's son made a comment on each and every photo. I get it, I really do. Masuda's son is trying to whisper, but he's not. His voice is just too loud. Masuda's son's quiet voice was like a regular person screaming, so each and every comment would echo throughout the venue. When a photo of the CEO overseas was on the presentation... Ah, oh, that kid on the lower right of the photo! That's totally Taro, right? His ex-wife has custody of him, so that must be while they're still having an affair. I see Taro still there, but is this alright? <laughs> I think it's all right. Masuda's son. This is not all right. When the couple showed up on screen. Huh? 
Oh, that bag that his mistress is holding? That's totally the same bag as his ex-wife. I remember him making me go buy one while I was working. The whole venue was covered in murmurs. Masuda-san, shh! He really was trying to whisper, but everyone heard everything. Even the MC couldn't cover it up. Huh? How was it? Did you enjoy that? <laughs> The presentation was finally over, and the groom started his speech when... We're going to be living a humble life. The second the CEO said that... Ah, I see! So you're not going to make sure people pay, so you're going to delay our pay again! Again, he's trying to whisper. He definitely should have tried to become an opera singer. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, the business will be expanding. Business! I think this wedding was a total disaster. Two of our clients are pretty ticked off because of this wedding and how we haven't paid them for their services yet. They're not going to send us products too, so we're basically screwed. At that moment, every employee in the room looked at him completely shocked, and they were ping pong between Masuda's son and the CEO. Honestly, I was pretty shaken up, since that was the first time I'd heard about that too. Huh? Yeah, we're totally done now, Masuda son. You're really going in. When I gave the invitation to the client CEO, he was pissed off. I felt like he had stepped on a landmine. Before I handed the invitation to him, he was actually willing to wait a little. Huh? Are you sure about that whole thing? When I went with a client CEO for drinks, he said that he was already moving forward with the paperwork to terminate the contract. I told our CEO about this, but he said he was too busy prepping for the wedding so he just wouldn't help me out. All the employees knew he meant no harm. He's actually trying to talk a lot quieter than usual. <laughs> At the podium, the CEO had frozen up and was led by the MC to take a seat. Both the CEO and the bride were pale in the face. The letter from the bride was also hellish, but I didn't need to tell you that. Uh, oh, okay. Thank you all for attending this wedding to congratulate the two. Please be careful on your way home. When the wedding was finally over and we were sending off the attendees, the bride and the groom, along with their families, were handing us small gifts. It's finally over. And a week after the wedding, at the end of the month, just like Masuda son said, just like he had said, the pay was delayed and the clients stopped shipping to us. The whole office was a hellish landscape. I'll do something as soon as I get back from the honeymoon. We all got tired of it and turned in our resignation letters. Twelve employees, including me, quit. I think that company is done for. Please, don't quit. Hey, Batotakan, you know how you and I got along in the office? Huh? You thought so? You thought so? I mean, you're the only one that didn't ask to trade seats because your ears would bleed. True. There's a nice little business that some of my friends have been pestering me to join. Are you interested in coming with? Masuda-san inviting me was completely unexpected, and I had known how well he was at networking, so... Huh? Really? Can you tell me more? I went home and I talked to Asuka. She was on board. Masuda-san and I... Come on in! This is the best place around! It's crispy on the outside and juicy on the inside! Come get yours now! My ears... Hey! You can buy just one if you want! Come on by! You're so pretty! Oh, wow! Look at that pay! You're making at least 2.5 times the amount from your last job! I mean, I make more the more I sell. And Masuda's son has a talent for calling in customers. Who is selling the most in the area. He's really loud, isn't he? He's actually known around the neighborhood, too. Word is, you can hear him inviting customers from the station. All the way at our house. 
he's like a myth. Asuka, I don't think that's a myth at all. My name is Asuka. I am going to be having a wedding with my fiance, Ryota, next May, and we've already informed everyone about it and invited them. We've decided and reserved our venue. I am so excited. You're gonna look so good in your wedding dress. What color do you think I should wear? I think you'd look good in orange or pink. Something bright. We were both having fun talking about the wedding recently. And the good news continued. I want my fiancé to meet my family, so can you guys come too? Of course! Last Sunday, I was asked to meet up with Mika-san, my brother Fubuki's fiancé. Nice to meet you. I'm Mika, your Fubuki sister. We're very close, so let's hang out sometime. Can we trade contact info? Of course. Let's hang out. There's a lot I'd love to talk to you about. She seemed very friendly. However, present day, one week later. Oh, it's a text from Mikasan. I wonder what she wants. I thought maybe she was going to invite me out to lunch, but... Sorry, but can you postpone your wedding? I would like to have our wedding next June. What? What is going on? But we've already reserved our wedding venue. Look, don't be a spoiled little brat, okay? I want to have a wedding before I'm 30. You understand, as a woman, right? She acted as if I was being spoiled or something. Dude, why is that my problem? Just change it, okay? Then how about you just hurry up and put in your paperwork so you can have the wedding this year? I tried to stay calm and talk about it. I'm saying I want to have my wedding during June. We won't make it on time if we push our papers now, so think about it. Oh my god, <laughs> you're pissing me off. We have our plans too, you can't just throw that on us. You understand the romance for weddings and a woman getting married at 30, right? You're still so young, you can wait a year. No. You're honestly kind of being a bitch since I'm begging so much and you're just not listening. I don't think I can get along with you. What? <laughs> ah, I'm the one that feels like I can't get along with you. That night, as soon as Ryota got home, I asked him about it. Uh, so she's two years older than your brother? Yeah, seems like it. But we've planned our wedding for the longest time for May. You've tried talking to fubuka son already? No, I figured I would talk to you first. I wonder why he isn't stopping Mika-san either. I really don't think that he's the kind of guy that would be okay with asking us to move our wedding. I think if Mika-san is acting on her own, then fubuka son would do something about it. That's true. After talking to Ryota, I decided to invite my brother and talk about it. Hey, sorry, I, I know you're busy, but could you come by my house? I have something I want to talk to you about. Yeah, sure. I'll be there around 8 p.m. I had him come over. So yeah. Just like Ryota suggested, Fubuki hadn't known about this at all. What? asuka son said that to you? Yeah, here, look at the messages. She's talking about her age and her wedding and stuff. What? She mentioned that about me briefly, but we haven't even decided anything. We've already reserved the venue and stuff. I see. I'll talk to Mika about it when I get home. You guys just move forward with your wedding as planned. We won't make you move it. Don't worry. Thanks. My brother assured us and headed back home, but two days later... Miko won't budge, so I think we're gonna get our parents involved and talk about it all together. Okay. So it was decided that we were going to invite our parents to talk about it at my parents' place. My brother explained everything to both parties, and Mika's parents were the first ones to say something. I would like to go with my daughter's wishes. Ah, great. 
her parents agree with their daughter, this is going to be a problem. Mika-san, who now had her mother in on her side, started acting like she now had the world on her side. Exactly. You guys are so young. You should prioritize our wedding first. Come on, use your brains. No, we're not going to agree to move our wedding date. We have told all of our relatives and co-workers about our date in May. Ryota said, clearly going against what she was saying. I want to get married in June. If your wedding is in May, then it's too close to our wedding in June. All of the people we invite will be annoyed. I understand that because some relatives are far and it's not exactly cheap, two months in a row is something we'd like to avoid as well. That's why you guys should adjust your date, since you haven't even decided on a venue or date yet. We're not going to change anything that we have already decided on. My father, who hated when things were off, started talking to them sternly. So, you're ignoring my daughter's wishes? I want June! I don't understand why you're so intent on June. It's probably just going to be rainy and it's not something you need to care about nowadays. Just say that you changed your wedding date. It's fine. You're young. People will laugh it off. We didn't reach a conclusion at all, and eventually, Mika-san and her mother... If we don't have the wedding in June, then I'm not getting married. Yeah, that's the spirit. This is a once-in-a-lifetime event. If they don't listen, then they're not worth it. They were intent on fighting back. Fubuki, who was silent and listening the whole time with his arms crossed, said... You're right. Let's just leave the date alone for now. I don't think I can find a place by June anyway. Huh? Yeah, let's just call off the wedding. I think I need to reconsider getting married to someone whose family is willing to just abuse their rights to get what they want. Of course, the woman too. No, 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 that's not what I meant. Mika-san's father, who was listening quietly, just like Fubuki. Yeah, you shouldn't get married. I don't see how you could get along with Fubuki kuns family with an attitude like that. You're just going to cause him and his family problems. What are you talking about, Dad? I was just a little emotional. I don't care if you're turning 30 or having a wedding in June or not. And no one else cares either. If you want to get married before you turn 30, then you should give up on getting married in June. But you're only concerned with what you want. He said, telling her what everyone was thinking. Thank you. I completely agree. Yeah, so sorry. The engagement is off. And I'm so sorry for the trouble that my daughter and wife have caused you. Agreed. Agreed. W wait, s sweetie. Stop. Who's going to want to get along with a wife that only pushes her own wishes through, huh? We're going home. Apparently, Mika-san's father was very smart, and he pulled them both out of the house. That night, Mika-san's father called and apologized again. He said he wanted me to tell you guys that he was sorry. Mika-san and her mother apparently were scolded by Mika-san's father, and he decided that they needed constructive rehabilitation. They were going to live with Mika-san's father's family. His parents are apparently extremely strict. However, Fubuki and Mika-san's father apparently really hit it off, even after the engagement was called off. I go golfing with him every week. He really gives off the executive vibes, you know? He was pretty badass, huh? I'm gonna be going golfing with him in a different prefecture next month. The engagement was called off, but Fubuki found a lifelong friend. I'm Asuka. I got married to my husband five years ago. I lived about 30 minutes away from my parents' house. Ah, it's so nice out today. I better get started on the laundry. We didn't have kids yet, so I had a lot of spare time on my hands. My brother, on the other hand, he had three kids. He lived about an hour away by car. He was always busy with work, and so was his wife, Mayuka. Raising three children was a lot of work. But she asked my mom to look after her kids from time to time. 
but my mom was getting old. It was a lot of work for someone her age. You all right, mom? The kids were getting bigger, and she couldn't be everywhere at once. So I offered to help out. After that, sometimes she sent them my way, and I looked after them. Asuka, thank you for this. You're a lifesaver. Of course, Mom. I'm still young, so no worries. Oh, thank you, dear. Then one day, Mayuka sprained her ankle. She could barely move on her own. She started leaving her kids with us more often. She's injured, so it's not her fault, I guess. Yes, I guess. But she was kind of rude about it. We're here. She never thanked us once for looking after her kids. I sprained my ankle, so I can't drive. And she made us drive her kids around to school and stuff. She never thanked us. She didn't even give us gas money. Ah, <sighs> driving two hours every day eats up a lot of gas. My mom felt bad for me. She started cooking for me because I was always busy taking care of Mayuka's kids. Yeah. And sometimes she even gave me gas money. It just didn't feel right. I love kids, but ugh, this is getting out of control. I was starting to get annoyed. But Mayuka was injured, so I didn't know what to do. Maybe I'll call my brother. But he's always busy. He never picks up. Ugh, what am I to do? But then one day, he called me. Hey, uh, Mayuka said you and mom were picking on her. Is that true? Seriously? What? She said that? I couldn't believe it. My brother didn't believe her either. But you and mom? You two are always looking out for her, so I didn't believe her. But he knew something was up, so he called me to check up on me. I'd never do that. And same with mom. She's been really good to her. According to my brother, she said to him, Asuka and her mom ridiculed me, saying I can't even look after my kids. But it's not my fault. My ankle is broken. And they're saying all kinds of bad things about me to my kids. And they're always telling me how to raise my kids. I can't take much more of this. Where did all of this come from? Uh, I never told her how to raise her kids. This one time. What have you done? She was yelling at her son. She thought he did something bad. But then, her son explained what happens. Turns out it was just a misunderstanding. So I said, I see. Mayuka, maybe you should hear him out before jumping to conclusions. I said to her, but I wasn't trying to tell her how to raise her kids or anything. That was the only thing I could think of. When I told my brother that, he went silent for a while. Then he said, Sorry, Asuka. I'll call you back. Then he hung up on me. About an hour later, I got a text from Mayuka. Looks like there's been a misunderstanding. Sorry. I guess he talked to her. She said sorry, but it didn't sound like she meant it. Then she sent me another text right afterwards saying, I got a PTA meeting tomorrow. Pick up my kids from school for me, okay? Seriously? Ugh, oh, that's it. I'm not doing this anymore. I don't want to upset you again by accident, so... I'm done taking care of your kids. Sorry. She sent me dozens of texts after that, but I just ignored her. Just skip the PTA meeting or something. This isn't my problem. She kept texting me nonstop. I read some of them, but didn't reply to any of it. Turns out she wasn't happy about her mother-in-law cooking for them either. This is good. Whenever her husband praised his mom's cooking, she felt like he was putting her down. I know I'm a bad cook, but you don't have to rub it in my face. She told me she got into a huge fight with her husband over it. And I care because... I couldn't care less, and the text kept coming. She went on to say, My mother-in-law thinks I'm useless. I know I'm not like you, but I'm trying my best. What on earth was she talking about? My mom never said anything like that. Uh, and she was always asking her to help out. It just didn't make sense. Oh, and... Every time mom offered to cook for her. Next time make some hamburgers and mashed potatoes. My kids love those. She made all kinds of requests. And this one time my brother said to her. They're always helping you out. You should do something to thank them. But she didn't like this either. A few months ago, we went out shopping together. Actually, she just made me look after her kids the entire time. And she bought me this $80 handbag. Maybe that was her way of thanking me. 
You're always helping me out, so... That was nice of her, but... <sighs> that won't even cover the gas money. I wanted to tell her, but I didn't even care anymore. Then she said to me, You don't have kids. You just don't get it. Seriously? I'm sure raising three kids is a lot of work, but it's not like I asked her to have three children. I was getting pretty sick and tired of this. Oh, I can't take much more of this. But then, a few days later, my brother called me again. Hey, um, sorry about everything. Mayuka says sorry too. She was just really stressed out and... Honestly, I don't want anything to do with her anymore. I was only trying to help her out, you know? I don't want to see her again. I'll pay her back for the bag she bought me. I said to him. But then, he said something unexpected. Oh, don't worry about the gift she gave you. The handbag, the purse, the heels. You like them a lot, right? He said to me. Excuse me? What was he talking about? What gifts? She gave me a cheap handbag, but that was about it. I bought everything else myself. My brother sounded surprised. Wait, what about the pears? The grapes? The soba noodles? And the money for gas and babysitting? He asked me. Uh, what are you talking about? What money? She never... Oh. My brother apologized to me and hung up. Phew, she's done it now. Maika was stealing from him. I know I'm always busy at work, but here, get Asuka and her family something nice with this. Let me know if you need more money. She was keeping everything for herself. My brother knew that we were always helping her out, so he was trying to return the favor. So he was giving her gas money all along. She just kept it for herself. I see. My brother confronted her right away. He found out that she was stealing money from his bank account as well. She was using it to buy designer clothes, jewelry, and so on. She had it all hidden away in her closet. I was really stressed out. Give me a break. No, I want a divorce. She tried to talk her way out of it, but it was a lot of money. I wasn't sure how much exactly, but how much money did she steal from him? I don't want to know. During the divorce proceedings, she gave up custody of all her children. No surprises there. She never took care of them. After the divorce, my brother started his own business so he could work from home and be with his kids. He was the one that brought up divorce, but he didn't pay Mayuka a dime. After all the money she sold from me, she should be paying me. Whatever. But Mayuka's parents came to see him after the divorce and agreed to pay him back, so I guess everything worked out. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. See you next time.